Here we go again. More miners. They're very expensive, but they're incredibly profitable. I mean, we're talking plus $140 or more of passive income in your pocket every day, at least on paper. We're gonna be looking at radiant mining. Is it the next Bitcoin mining? Is it the next Caspo for mining? Is it even the next Alf for mining? I'm Bosco on the Bosco on YouTube channel. This is the Bosco mining farm we've been working so hard to build. We're gonna be looking at these radiant miners. We've talked a little bit about them before, but we're gonna be talking in further detail. What kind of mining can this ecosystem really support? Is this honestly the next big opportunity or is this probably the next big opportunity you to lose your money. Enter Radiant Blockchain. It's a platform blockchain. It's talking about scaling. It's talking about low fees. It's talking about touring, right? I invite you to do research about Radiant and their underlying technology and you think if it's novel or breakthrough. We look at the cryptocurrency, $20 million market cap. It's barely a top 1,000 cryptocurrency when ranked by its coin market cap. It's got pretty impressive volume though. Recently, it's been doing a quarter million dollars to even over a million dollars a day in trading volume, and it doesn't really have all that great exchange support. Uh, and I say that as a compliment for the volume that it's achieving. Of course, not all of this volume will be genuine. A lot of that's rooted in market makers and things like that. Uh, it's a very common thing in cryptocurrency. Again, that is also not a dig against uh, this cryptocurrency. It's just something I want you to be aware of if you're newer to this. Also, TradeOgre is an absolute scam. I've got thousands of dollars of Caspa locked on their exchange. If you use TradeOgre, you're an idiot and you're probably going to lose your money. Sincerely, me. So let's go back to the coin here. Radiant RXD. Daily emission, this is pretty high uh, for what it's done previously. A quarter Bitcoin per day. 0.26, right? So what's a quarter of, we'll round up a little bit here, $60,000. It's $15,000. This coin's putting out like $15,000 in uh, newly mined coins per day. You could get into a Radiant Miner for around $400 to $600. Uh, they've sold out on Ice River. We asked them for one to review. They said, haha, sorry, maybe in the next batch uh, because they sold out quicker than they anticipated. For some reason, even though everything's sideways and everyone's crying and upset and down and depressed with the cryptocurrency market, miners still fly off the shelf. Uh, so we got one on order anyway uh, from a reseller. So make sure to subscribe for that review as we dig into the real world mining profitability. We look at all the cryptocurrencies and how much money they're putting out per day. We go way down the list here and we find Radiant at number 22 on miningpoolstats.stream. It doesn't have everything, but it's got a lot of the coins and it's near that 15K price point that we talked about. It is up 137% uh, the coins price in the last seven days. Uh, that's leaps and bounds ahead of every other coin. Uh, here on this chart network difficulty is rising as expected uh, as far as mining pool support it's pretty low you can see there's basically just two mining pools that actually uh, mine this cryptocurrency in mass and you may also notice the difficulty is absolutely skyrocketing and that trend is going to continue uh, i'm not a fanboy of f2 pool i just mine a lot of different coins um, so I just want to let you know that they're probably going to add Radiant to their pool because they seem to be adding every newly ASIC mined coin to their pool. Uh, and here's a little glance at my AL1 mining performance here if you're interested in that. If you're wondering about putting your Radiant miners on NiceHash, well, good luck. Surprisingly, you can use ALF miners on NiceHash. Of course, Caspa and many other mining rigs. NiceHash does not currently support the Radiant algorithm. Any way you type it, right? Uh, so it's a variant of SHA-256. Uh, it is specifically the SHA-516-256D mining algorithm with a four minute block time. Looking at the mining profitability, Dragon Ball Miner A11, $139 per day, and that's after the 10 cent per kilowatt hour electricity bill for this miner at 2,300 watts is paid. We also have some other miners here in the equation, again, most notably the iServer RX0, which is still supposed to be putting out about $11 a day in passive income there. So uh, we're an affiliate with ASIC Marketplace. If you enjoy the content, uh, please use our link and not just our coupon code to save some coin, because if you only use our uh, 
code, we don't get any credit and it doesn't help us keep this free content rolling here. Uh, the link does, but of course, please use the code as well to save yourself some coin. Uh, we come over here and we look at the A40 and we look at the A11. We've talked about the RX-0 a lot. The A40 is not to be confused because all of this is confusing. Uh, it's an ALF miner. But the reason the A11 stands out is because it mines Radiant as well as ALF. And they boast that this is dual simultaneous mining. And uh, when we go over to their site here, uh, we can get a little more clarity on that. I've never ordered directly from Dragon Ball Miner. I have a Dragon Ball Caspa Miner on my farm. Um, it's one of the least user-friendly miners uh, we've dealt with in a long time. You have to download an additional software just to be able to utilize these, which can be okay if you're buying them in mass. Uh, but if you're buying just one, the lack of a web dashboard is pretty crappy. Uh, let's click this over. Simultaneous dual mining, free choice, huge returns. Uh, but the way that that is proposed simultaneous dual mining would mean that we're mining both of these cryptocurrencies at the same time it's weird to see free choice though as if i have to make a choice because i should just be dual mining them both at the end uh so just something to kind of understand and be aware of and be advised we look at the pricing on this that resellers are pushing in at about ten thousand dollars before any discount codes mm -hmm. And when you look at that daily mining profitability, you may say, wow, what a deal. Because over the next year, we'd make over 51 grand. And this only costs 10 grand. That's, that's awesome. But the mining profitability is going to drastically decrease. And this will happen incredibly fast. Think of how fast Casper mining, mining profitability has decreased. And that coin is putting out over a million dollars in new coins per day. Okay. We're talking about a cryptocurrency that's putting out 15 grand in coins per day. It's microscopic in comparison, but hey, the market cap's small. It wouldn't take all that much to make this a $200 million market cap coin, which would be a tiny sliver of the $4 billion market cap coin that Caspa is. Traditionally, historically though, this these kinds of things don't really happen uh, with these coins. We will be lucky and surprised to see it go to $400 million market cap. For example, like Nervos Network has achieved many years later in its lifespan. Personally, I'm extremely exhausted with all these high minor prices. This KS5 was selling for 30 grand just a couple months ago. Now you get it for eight grand. The AL1 listed at over $44,000, right? We got one into the farm uh, at, at around a price point of 30 grand, $30,000. That's insane, that's ridiculous. And yeah, it is very profitable right now, but to get to 30 Gs to just even break even is a very long, scary journey on a volatile cryptocurrency. Um, and it's it's just ridiculous. You used to get very good miners for like a grand, okay? You could build sweet GPU mining rigs that were very profitable for several grand, right? With numerous cards on them. You could even put a good CPU on there and be CPU mining and GPU mining. But GPU mining, it's like you, bear, you don't even turn a profit unless you spec mine and the coin takes off now. Not a lot of appeal in that. All of these ASIC miners are just grossly priced. And here's the big problem. It's like the uh, tragedies of the well uh, situation here. That there's all these different manufacturers, right? So we already have Dragon Ball. We already have Ice River. Of course, Bitmain can make one of these, which they're bigger, more powerful, and they always make a better mining rig. So of course, they're going to make one and they're going to sell it for like 20, 30, 40 grand. Uh, and with all these different mining manufacturers making mining rigs, it takes away the incentive of not making a ton of them, right? If only one minor manufacturer made this, they could make a reasonable amount where they made ends up, end up making a ton of money, but they don't absolutely crush their buyers. But from iServer's point of view, right, they may as well just make as many as they possibly can. Because if Dragon Ball does that and they don't do that, then Dragon Ball is going to profit and iServer won't. And then Bitmain's going to show up with a more efficient design. And they're like, well, we're just going to make as many as we can because we have the most efficient design. So when all those other devices become unprofitable, burning more electricity than they're earning in the coins they're mining, their miner will still earn more than it burns because it's more efficient. These companies are cutthroat. They are not amigos. I've never seen the industry like this. You would think it... And as time goes on, it will be getting better and more mature, but this is the most greedy the mining manufacturers have just, like, ever been. Uh, so, 
Personally, I find Radiant ASIC mining scary, right? These are ASICs. These are purpose-built custom computers that normally only mine one mining algorithm, for example, Radiant here. If this coin crumbles, the miners are trash, paperweights, junk, e-waste. If it takes off, well, actually, it'll be one of the most lucrative things you could have possibly done because not only will the coins you mine, if you hold them, send in value, make mining more profitable in retrospect, the hardware you own, would become more valuable and you could take profit in that or you would just not have been able to get into it when it ascends to a higher price point if it was out of your budget um so that's like the pro the hopeful side but on the flip side you know the complete opposite things can happen for me i have been pushing building out the mining farm hodling coin burning all my cash on the electricity bill and things have done have been okay like bitcoin's done pretty well and i'm glad that i had a good focus on mining bitcoin but bitcoin mining is not very profitable post having with the current price it's very difficult it's very competitive and uh just all of these all these miners are just so expensive and like they don't stay relevant for that long even if you're able to buy a miner and then break even and then it's not really even worth running anymore that's just chasing your tail we really need the market to take off for everyone's sake uh, i just hope that it happens sooner than later because we've been waiting quite a long time now and while bitcoin's achieved some pretty good success many altcoins very few of them have hit new all-time highs since the 2021 era caspa being the exception not the norm so i don't know we'll see i'm gonna get a few radiant miners because i'm a maniac and i like making content here uh, but outside of the content push with this as like an actual mining farm operator I find this stuff scary and I just deal with genuine burnout and the lack of ways to Cash out these coins or I have to have 20 freaking different wallets uh, with full nodes that uh, You know I take care of I mean look look at the lack of exchange support There's not many ways to turn this into dollars if you want or need to especially as a US citizen but there are some ways, which is better than nothing. So, hey, uh, that's my little crash course on radiant mining here. Uh, the reality of the numbers. And remember, it, you look at the mining profitability that these are projected to have, and you look at the daily emissions, it cannot support all that many miners, right? I mean, we're talking not even 1,000 RX zeros. And 1,000 miners may sound like a lot to you, but there are mining entities that order miners in batches well beyond 1000 single entities okay and major mining farms have pushed further and further into altcoin mining which used to be sort of a interesting higher risk higher reward haven for smaller mining operators so hey we'll see i'm boss here on the bosco youtube channel this is tails we're in 10 seconds of tails on every video because she is of course the founder here at Voscoin. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know your thoughts on radiant mining down below and if you're gonna grab a miner, which one and why or why not. Ah.